Hello, okay, next tutorial. This tutorial is not meant to be anything in particular at all, it's literally something I sat down and made up on the spot completely, like I did my smiler makeup. Um, I just decided I wanted to do something that involved a horn or several horns, <laughs> don't ask me why, I just fancied it. Um, and this is what I came out with, so no plan at all, I just yeah went off on a tangent granted i'll be the first to admit it's not my cleanest of makeups that i've ever done but um i'm sure you guys can take what i've done if you wanted to and come up with your own creature using the same methods or maybe even using your own methods which whichever you prefer um but as, as i said i just made it up on the spot so it's just a bit of fun really <laughs> um but yeah so if you'd like to see my method of how to recreate this craziness stay tuned so the first thing I'm going to do is block out both my eyebrows and I'm also going to be applying a plain latex ball cap. So I'll pop links here and here to the two tutorials I've done in the past to teach you guys how to do both those things just to save some time off in this video. So I'm going to do all that and get back to you. So there we are. So I went over my ears and my ball cap as well just because I think having two ears sticking out might detract a bit from the face design that I want because I want this to be quite a simple look with everything mainly focused here and then I want the horns and everything. So yeah. So I also went around the edge of my ball cap with two to three layers of liquid latex just to blend the edge in. So now I've done that, I can take some more liquid latex and a sponge, and I'm just going to go over my eyebrows. I'm going to, I'm eventually going to be covering my entire face, but I want to work in stages so I know exactly where I'm going to work on. So yes, I'm going to go over my forehead for about three layers, and I can work on building that with some tissue. So then I can take some regular tissue paper that I've torn into, so I've got the thinner halves, because it's a lot easier to work with these than it is when they're stuck together, because otherwise you'll just make a mess, trust me. Um, <laughs> so then I'm just going to take some latex, apply it in the area that I want, and this area is going to be the brow, so I'm going to make a very angry brow, but I'm going to make it more animal than anything else, more demonic I suppose, I'm going to bring it down quite heavily here, so the anger, the basically whenever I do an angry uh, brow I always have this triangle upside down triangle here so if I start it down here and have it overlap in the eyes slightly it just it makes this look really 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 angry so the lower down the more angry that's my theory anyway so I'll have the tissue overlap in the eyes ever so slightly and coming out here and then to taper off so I'll probably do about maybe seven to eight coats of later uh, tissue and latex here to maybe three on then one on the outside but the idea is to take really really small strips of tissue I'm gonna start in the middle because it's usually easier apply latex around there push the tissue down and then saturate that and then once that dries I can do another layer on top of that and as I said I'm going to do about seven to eight air layers in that area there and then overlap the eyebrows and then taper it off so there we are so super 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 almost animal like angry eyes yeah so now I've done that I'm gonna work on the nose area so I'm gonna do this very similar to how I did my smiley makeup I'm gonna cover my nose area in liquid latex and underneath my eyes not too close to my eyes because I'm not gonna do much of an effect there with latex um, just enough that I can blend it into the side here and then I can add some masking tape on the side to smooth out my nose completely but yeah so for now I'm just gonna do two layers of liquid latex over my nose and around my eyes so that's the shape I've gone for with the latex. I should say the reason I do latex before applying masking tape is because masking tape adheres really, really well to liquid latex once it's dried. So it's a lot easier just to make a base first. So I'm going to let that dry and then apply the masking tape. So then I'm going to take some regular masking tape and the idea is to work in small strips and to apply it going uh, horizontally across my nose and then a few going vertically down so I can block my nose out completely. The idea is once it's done I can peel up my bottom lip so I can breathe out my nose and my mouth but because it's going to be so flat here um, this well not flat you get the idea <laughs> I'll be able to breathe out my mouth and nose and it won't um, inhibit me anyway so I'm going to start sticking down the tape now probably about three on each side maybe four on each side and then three down the middle so for the time being it's going to look a little bit messy but don't worry that's where liquid latex comes in so I'm going to apply about two layers of liquid latex over all this area here and then I'm going to apply some more tissue over the top of that the same as I did my forehead just to really smooth the area out So before I knit it up too much, I'm just going to lift the bottom lip up so that I can have it going straight down. Then I'm just taking some masking tape and I'm just going to line it up along with this line here, just along my well, where my smile is going to be because the idea is I'm going to cut teeth in um, and I want this to be as thick as possible. So the thicker it is, the stronger the teeth will look. So I'm just going to do that side as well and then cover that whole area in liquid latex as well. So there we go, so you successfully have an angry looking duck. Yeah, 
<laughs> so now I'm going to do exactly the same again on the bottom half of my face. So I'm going to apply latex all over this area here, then apply masking tape along here. So the idea is that there's no, you can't see my mouth at all. It's going to be straight across. So then I can take scissors and cut in the teeth so it looks more evil looking. Yeah, and, not, and less dark or Ninja Turtle looking. Yeah, actually that'd be a fun idea for a tutorial. Moving on. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to apply about four layers of liquid latex here and then start building it up with some masking tape. Okay, so now I really do look like a Ninja Turtle, but yeah, <laughs> bear with me. Um, okay, so now I've got this shape all built out and everything, I can start cutting into it. So I'm going to take a regular um, black pencil, this is a lip pencil by um, Stargazer in black. It doesn't really matter, it's just so I can get a stencil. And I'm going to start tracing on some really cartoony, jagged teeth in the shape of a really, really high smile. Just so I know where to cut in, um, just like guidelines really. So there we are, excuse the roughness of this, I'm just sketching roughly the shape that I want. The rest of this is going to be pretty much black and red, so it won't matter if you've made any uh, errors or anything. But yeah, so you can see roughly the shape that I've gone for, kind of like carving a pumpkin. So I'm going to cut all the inside areas out. So I'm going to use some scissors, just please, please, please be careful. This is easy just to pull the area away first and then snip into it. Just go really slowly and be careful. <laughs> Okay, so it's one of those things that's going to look a lot better, I think, when it's painted, because at the moment you can't really see the points of these teeth, but you get the idea. So like a pumpkin, or about the pumpkin's eye carve. Yeah. <laughs> so then onto the painting. So I'm going to take a Snazru black watercolour, and I'm just going to paint, to start off with, the outside edge of all of this, and maybe a little bit towards the centre, but I'm going to be doing the red first, so I can see exactly what shape I'm going to take on. But yeah, so I'm going to apply that all around the back here. I think I'll start working upwards actually, I think I'll colour the mouth in black as well, just uh, the teeth and around this area here and then stop here for now. Now I'm just going to start working on roughly shaping out the eyes, so I want them very angry, so I'm just going to draw in that triangle area there, whoops. <laughs> um, so don't worry about making it too neat for now because I'm going to go quite crazy with the red in a second. Then I'm going to take a Snazaru red watercolour, I'm just going to colour in my mouth area and the eye area and I'll just start neatening things up. Then I'm just going to take the black and start reshaping the eyes and just generally neatening and sharpening things up. Okay, so I know I've got a lot of neatening up to go, but this is the general shape I've gone for. So I've swept the eyes out a little bit more, and I did cut in the teeth a bit more just to make them a bit bigger as well. Yeah. <laughs> so before I neaten things up, I'm going to work on the horns, because I've been dying to do this bit. So the idea is, I've got three, styles, three sizes of horns. I've got small, medium, and large, um, which I've already pre-made. I've sculpted and cast in latex. I do sell them on my website if you guys are interested. Just saying. <laughs> Sorry, shameful plug. But yeah, so the idea is I'm going to stick loads of these in random places, I think around. So the idea is just to trim them down and stick them down. I've already pre-painted some of them with black acrylic paint, um, just so it saved me some time. But I'm yeah. going to stick them down with some spirit gum. You can. crazy with them but I think I'm kind of looking like the horned witch tutorial that I did but <laughs> but yeah so I'm just going to quickly blend that in with some latex just dab it around the edges just so I've got no edges okay so I'm just going to let that dry in the meantime this is what happens when I make things up as I go along I kind of think I'm going to stick one big horn there and one medium horn there it kind of makes it look like a little rhino demon but you know what I think from profile it would look quite cool like a punk rock type demon thing i don't know so yeah i'm going to stick those down and then blend those edges as well okay so then i just took some black and went around all the edges and i'm just going to take some red and just color in the tips i think of these two maybe these three yeah just the tips of them just blending it into the back Unfortunately, I accidentally had my mic on mute for this, so I'll just quickly talk you through what I did. Um, I took some fake blood and applied it in my mouth area, and I also um, applied red on the edges and middle three of the horns, just some random ones, just so it adds to the symmetry and makes it look a bit more interesting than just regular black horns. 
I should mention if you're using the recipe for blood that I have on my channel which I'll pop a link here if you guys want to know how to do it um, this is a little bit different I actually added some pro stick in with this and you could use spirit gum I think that should work um, the only reason I've done that is just because I want this to stay in place over the latex and not wipe off so when it dries it should just stay proper solid and just before I finish this look off and at the risk of making this look like Darth Maul I'm still going to do it I think I'm going to take the red and just do like a diamond pan here and here just going up matching the eye shape like half moons I don't know, just, it, it needs something, I think it's too blank there. So I did this little half moon here, and I did one going either side the eye as well, going around there, just letting the gradient fade off into the black. So, kind of like war paint, I guess. Yeah. So then I guess I'm going to pop in some contact lenses, a random costume, and I'm done. And there we go, so that's my look complete. <laughs> um... I finished the look off by popping on a costume, which is a, just a generic vampire costume I got off of Amazon.co.uk uh, or .com, wherever you are in the world. Um, the eyes are called Gremlin contact lenses. They're Gremlin Scalera contact lenses from eyesbright.com. I'll pop the link in the description bar below. Um, and yeah, so there's not much else to say about this look, really. Um, I mean, it's obviously it's not my neatest look I've ever done because... I just sat down and made this completely up on the spot. The only thing I knew I wanted to incorporate somewhere is some kind of horn. I, I just made loads and yeah, so. <laughs> um, so this is completely made up. I hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, so this is my horned demon thing. I hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you'd like to be so much shorter than the usual, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz because it super, super helps me out. And yeah, so until next time, bye.